Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today's video is going to be about the new Mask AI function that's coming to On1 2023. It's cool stuff. It's basically giving us the ability to quickly and automatically mask items or areas of a photo so that you can apply your edits and get on with things. It's, uh, it's very fast. It's working really well, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I wanted to give you a kind of a tech preview of what's coming. Now, to keep in mind, I've still got a beta copy of On1 2023, so everything's not finished. Things may change, stuff like that. But I wanted to show you how it works. So let's get into it. I've got a photo here, and if you look at the before and the after, there it is before, and there it is now. I basically did a few things here in the Develop tab, basically to edit my raw file and kind of get it set up for me to go into Mask AI and use some effects and some local adjustments, because you can use Mask AI on both of those. So let's go ahead and go into the effects menu. And what I want to do is add a filter. So you'll notice now when you click add filter, this menu comes up, which says apply with mask two. So you can choose all of it. And by the way, if you don't choose anything, it will default to all. But um, I can come and as you hover over things, you'll see that things get highlighted in red. So I'm going to click Flora. Once you click it, that area turns to blue. I'm going to choose Natural Ground and I'm going to choose Mountain. So I've basically isolated everything except the water and the sky. And what I want to do is go add some dynamic contrast. And so you give that a second, it calculates the mask. And hey, look, lo and behold, there's dynamic contrast and it's got that mask built in. So I'm going to go ahead and just maybe pull the medium and large up just a little bit. Let me show you the masking menu. If I click view, you can see it's isolated. The, the tree line, the mountains, the rocks in the foreground, it's left the water and the sky alone. And hey, that's great. That's what Mask AI does. It isolates those areas for you making things a whole lot easier. Now, the other thing I want to point out is there's this section here in the filter with Mask AI listed and the areas that you selected shown. So it shows you that this Mask AI is applying to the floor, the natural ground, and the mountain. I can click for the drop down and you can change that if you want to. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is because I like that. Here's another thing that you want to be aware of, and that is just like uh, in all previous versions of On1, you can copy this mask and paste or invert or whatever if you want to use that mask again or recycle it, as I like to say. So that's a quick uh, view of how that works. Now, what I want to do with this photo is I'm going to actually, I am going to copy that mask. I'm going to click copy and I'm going to go get the same filter again. And this will be dynamic contrast. I'm going to skip um, applying it here because I've copied a mask. So I'm going to add dynamic contrast again. It will create the exact same look with the same mask. And I'm going to go into the masking menu and I'm going to click paste and invert. So basically, I've just taken what I did, copied the mask, used the same filter again, but inverted it. And this is something I like to do with dynamic contrast, which is come in and just smooth out sky and water. That's just a great way to do that. I actually might add a little bit of vibrance while I'm at it. I just like the look of that. So I've quickly been able to isolate different areas of the photo and apply some adjustments to them. But there's more stuff I want to do. So I'm going to go get another filter. And this time I'm going to say, I'm going to put this in the sky. And this is a color adjustment. And I'm going to use this sky preset. And it's going to go straight into the sky. But this is where you might say, oh gosh, you know what? I really wanted to add that to the water too. Do I need to go add this filter again and choose water? No, you don't. You just go into masking. And with this drop down, I can come in and say, oh, I forgot the water. Let me grab that and apply. And now this preset is going to be applied to both the sky and the water. So even if you forget, because you have this little section here, you can go back and adjust that mask afterwards. Okay, now I want to do a little something with like the colors in the trees and all that. So I'm going to click once again, add filter. This one's going to be color enhancer. And whoops, I forgot to grab the mask AI setting. So I'm going to click on foliage, but I'm going to go in and click mask AI. I'm going to go in here. I didn't select any um, in the beginning. I'm just going to go to flora and I'm also going to choose mountain. So just isolate those two areas and click apply. And by the way, I was in paint out as you can see here. So I actually need to invert this mask and basically what I've done is isolated the tree line and the mountains and stuck that foliage preset from Color Enhancer on top of it. So there's my trees before, a little bit more yellow. There was some warm sunlight hitting those. And now a bit more green, a little bit more vibrant. 
So as I said, you can also use Mask AI on local adjustment. So I'm going to click on local adjustment and I'm going to go to this drop down menu. I'm going to go into Mask AI. It shows up the same way as it did in uh, the effects tab. And here I'm going to choose water and apply. And what I want to do is invert this mask so that I'm just on the water and this defaults to a negative one, but I'm actually here to brighten that water a little bit. So I'm gonna to go to about a 0.5. Just wanna brighten that water, give you a little bit more visibility. But one of the cool things I think about this is if you look at this mask, let me click view. You can see over here on this section, it's actually picked up that water, even though in my opinion, because it was so much darker, it might be hard to distinguish between, hey, what's ground or rock and what's water? Because remember, it was a bit darker like that, but it isolates that water quite well and does, I think, a fine job. So that's kind of a quick tech preview of Mask AI, how it's working and how you can use it and the flexibility that it has. And of course, it works on effects, like I said, but also over on local adjustments. So if you take a look at my photo before and after, that's the before unedited and that's the after. A lot more vibrant. I've redistributed the light. I've done all the things that I would like to do to this photo without really having to get into any complicated masking or any brushwork, I just kind of point and click and I'm done. So that's the power and the beauty of this tool here in On1 2023. Again, I've got a beta copy, it's coming out in October, but if you wanna check it out, there is a link below and I'll be back soon to talk about more. And in fact, if you enjoyed this video, I would check out this other one that I'm gonna link here to see more about On1 2023 and what's coming. Thanks my friends. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll be back soon. And until then, adios.